Hello guys and gals, this is my Mito, and this is our very first match in the Champions of Fox Nora Tournament. Up is Tiny Dragon, the champion of the Savage Tundra, versus Kunung, the champion of the Shattered Peaks. Alright. Kunung starts off with a slang overmind, and Tiny starts with a cast guide. Both are going to contest the upper fonts. Uh, the Kunung Slack Overmind produced an illusion, which is a copy of uh, Tiny's Cas Guide. Interestingly, Tiny doesn't try to get the upper font. All right, for some reason, all that while producing more illusions for Kunung. Kunung plays the Cyclops Stormcaller. Let's see how people are reacting. Alright, moves ahead. Both Storm, um, Stormcaller and Jack High Owl Raider are gonna fight for the middle font. We're gonna see how things go for now. Of course, the illusions will, um, provide a very much needed distraction for the Owl Raider. Um, it'll help Kanung prevent Tiny from going for the middle font. We're going to see how Tiny's going to deal with that. A lot of illusions, they're moving forward. Alright, Lonex Beastmaster, Tiny knows that the illusion will um, be an obstacle for him to reach the middle fund. So he's pl he, he's pl he just played the, lo the Lonex Beast Hammer as an insurance to uh, boost uh, Owl Raider's AP. I think he'll make it to the middle font even if he had to kill off the illusion. Alright, Stormcaller moves in. Still not able to contest. That's pretty safe for Tiny right now. Alright. So, Kaz Guide is... Um, captured the upper font for Tiny. Moves in Cyclops Stormcaller and positions him uh, in the um, crossways for the font. Of course, Jack High Owl Raider is infamous for its combo of lift and um... Oh, so he did not choose that. Alright. Because uh, Owl Raider was infamous of using lift and then hitting. All right, so it's Wind Striker. Yep, he does have it. It, it hits uh, flying champions with 50% more damage. Also, it has a charged frost cone, which is pretty easy to proke, uh, and it's free. Uh, Stormcaller has a um, a bomb too, but it's not free. It's a normal bomb. So, right now, what Kanong is playing is an, ele an electricity-based theme. While Tiny is playing, from the looks of it, um, Good Stuff Beast STVG. The illusions are going to be a big pain in the ass. Yeah, agreed. Tiny planning his moves. Alright, so, um... Before I interviewed Tiny Dragon, I wouldn't have known how he just blew up one of the illusions, but he told me that when you use a uh, block, uh, or dodge on an illusion, it blows up. And that's a buck, so, um... We now know. Alright. Stormcaller still not able to contest the middle font. That's a slow champ. Barium Bolt is coming. He has Spark Charged. So yeah, from the looks of it, from the upgrades the Barbarian Bolt has, 
This uh, BG by Kunong is, in fact, an electricity-based BG. All right, so he does the infamous combo. Puts on the banner, yep, and hits him for 22 damage. And because of the extra defense, he got hit with 20 damage. All right. He can uh, relocate ally because uh, the middle fun is pretty much lost for now. The advantage the tiny dragon had over Kanong, the fatal advantage was that the Stormcaller is really slow, but he can move in the Lonex Beast Hammer and the Pupil to, um, to try and put a relic there. But as I told you guys, he can blow up an illusion simply by using the dodge and block abilities on it. Alright, so he manages to contest the fund. It's not yet lost. The match is far from over. Plays a lightning rod, and what that does is um, it gives him extra damage. All it can be dealt to champions with five spaces without lightning rod is prevented. And this champion takes 80% of the prevented damage. So it uh, kind of like channels everything. Whoa, alright. So it's going to channel uh, all the hits from the Cyclops and from the Illusion. Onto Jackai Owlraider. Oh my god, Jackai Owlraider is almost dead, but will he die? No, he won't. A 1 HP Jackai Owlraider. Alright, how did he do it? I have no idea how. Whenever an enemy champ moves in, it takes two electricity damage. Oh, alright, because um, as far as I get it, he used the spark charge to increase the damage otherwise I don't really know how he did it but point is Al Raider is dead the match is looking pretty bad for Tiny Dragon will Kanong win? we'll see Rod shouldn't exist ah. Alright. Yeah, it was a pretty powerful combo. Seems bad for Tiny. Oh, yeah, that's only uh, the first match. We're gonna have uh, Devil's Wrath for IS. We have Lord Q for UD. Yo, Banshee, whom we already interviewed um, for FW. A couple of really big names, Zorbot, of course, for KF. Follow the tourney to watch epic battles unfold. Alright, so he moves in the Cast Pupil and plays another Cast Pupil. Cast Pupil is actually a real champ, which is, um, which is cool. Spawn not summon. Alright, so um Rebuke. All extra AP generated by the ice that the Arctic champs are uh, standing on gives them uh three damage. Hit by Barbarian Bolt Rebuke. So the Chaos People is contesting the font. The Lonex Beastmaster is just... There are a lot of HP on it, though. It can take a hit. Frostfall Ice uh, Wisp, summoned by Tiny. Tiny's trying to push back. Let's see if he will manage to do that. The Cyclops Stormcaller needs to die if Tiny is going to have a little bit of hope um, for winning this. But if Poxnor has proved anything, um, it is that no match is won until it's actually over. Especially when we're dealing with pros like Tiny and Kanung. Alright. Kanung plays with the uh, SP Doomy.
moves in. With Eternal Storm, uh, the Peaks Doomy can hit both Cast Guide and Cast Pupil. Also, uh, we must take into consideration that the Peaks Doomy has charged heal. Which will pose uh, as a very serious threat for Tiny. Tiny thinking about what he should do now. Of course, scaling the Cyclops Stormcaller should be pretty up on his list of things to do. <laughs> Alright. Blows up the illusion. Drives and rebuke hits the pupil. A pupil is dead anyways. At least now he can hit the clops twice. Even then, even after two hits of that, and one hit of that, the clops will still be up and running. So that's not enough. Alright, so, um, the clops is dead. Double hit with a pupil, and boom! Tiny Dragon um, might have... Alright, so the uh, Cast Pupil, because it has the ability of um, complete training, by killing the um, Cyclops, he healed up full HP. He hit the um, Bolt with Arctic Bolt. Huh. How ironic. Ironic. Moved in with the uh, cast pupil. Alright. So it's looking uh, good for Tiny. He might have his revenge. Alright, still Lonix. Uh, Beast Hammer has Invigorate and Drive. He goes to the tribal uh, post and blow it up. That'd be a big hit for Kanung. Kanung able to hit either the, the cast people or Lonix Tamar. Right, so he chooses to kill the Lonix Tamar. Cast guy played a pivotal role in this match. Uh, I think the next target should be Barbarian Bolt. Killing him off is important. Killing of the Doombringer is important. And then we can kill off the Overmind. But what Tiny needs to do is deploy more champs. Because right now he's running with Cast Pupil and Alonix Jammer, and then, well, even though Gaia is cool, but she's not powerful, and Frostful Ice Whip has a couple of tricks, and that's it. All the while, Kanung is uh, deploying more and more powerful champs that can do a couple of stuff, posing as a serious threat for Tiny. Alright, so the storm hits them. Rebuke. Alright, so he blows up the banner. That was a serious victory for Tiny, actually. Hits Barbarian Bolt. Barbarian Bolt is dead. He can play an Aura th on a Pupil. Tiny Dragon did serious damage right there. Changed a lot in this game. Seems like it's going for him now. Alright. Grand Saora to cast pupil. Six damage. This uh, dude Wolf is gonna die anyways. He's gonna die with a um, minus 11 damage. Or something like that. Minus 4 damage. Oh, he's dead. Bye-bye. 
23 HP for the Doombringer. She's dying. Remember that she just healed herself with the charged heal, so that is after an extra 10 HP. 18 damage on the Overmind. Still can't grab the font. It's looking bad. Alright, so he blows up the font, the, uh, the pupil. Should move in the Peak's Doombringer and heal her with a charge heal. She needs to get healed right now. Alright. So, uh, if Arctic Bolt is off the cooldown, you can do some nifty damage right across the field and kill off Slag Overmind. Move the pupil to threaten the upper fund. I don't think you managed to do that. Alright. So, um, they're standing in this epic positioning where they are just asking to get hit with the arctic bolt. Let's hope it's off cooldown. Because if it is, and he kills, he manages to kill both Doom and uh, Overmind, and it's pretty over. Killing more illusions with the uh, block dodge bug. Barbarian bolt summoned. The upper font taken. It's a done deal. Tiny one. Right, summons a pupil. What are people saying? Nerf pupil OP. If you didn't move the storm caller, bullshit. All right, Gale Force will solve everything. <laughs> Who doesn't love SD? All right. Oh, oh, that that is some. Oh my God, that is some sick stuff. Very interesting move, he's gonna hit them with Eternal Storm. Not to mention the chilled damage he's getting. Alright, plays the uh, Frost Aura on the second Frostful Ice Wisp. He has a lot of Nora because he controls, well, every fun actually. Alright, Overmind is dead. The Doomringer is possessed. Things are looking really ugly for Kanung. Turn to Whisper. Is uh, summoned to the upper font. It's over. All the fonts are lost. Most of the champs are dead. Oh right, that's an interesting turn of event. Vertical push. If he manages to recontest the upper font, things might change for him, but I doubt it. A lot of damage, a lot of champs have been summoned up there. So he's only relying on the two frostful ice wisps for the uh, bottom font at the moment. Excuse me. <coughs> Can things go for Kanung? No last community. Oh, oh, Kanung transfigures. Unlikely now that things turn for the better. Yep. I doubt it too. Alright, so uh, it's a uh, Frostful Ice Wisp with the Storm. Blows up both illusions using the block and dodge uh, abilities. It's a done deal for now. Is it just me or is Kanung playing really bad at the moment? It's you. I wouldn't be the best to judge. Alright, Gale Force! The, uh, the solution for everything SD. <laughs> so, 
So, uh, people are, uh, stri are, are starting to, um, to theorize that it's not Kanangu's playing. <laughs> because, uh, he's losing. But I think he tried his best. He tried his best and he lost. It's, it's fair. So conspiracy theories. All right. Boom! 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 Things are going well for Kanog, surprisingly. The only thing that stands between um, Kanung and that font are those guys, especially this dude, and he's gonna blow up anyways next turn. What are they saying? That makes his 80% win so much more impressive if he has another person fucking get up for him. <laughs> Alright. I never considered him that good though, but I, uh, I was always suspicious of that 80%. Gale Force again. That's a lot of damage. 37 damage. It's because it's a a big, a large champ. It's it's just ridiculous. All right, moves in to take the Nora to take the Nora um, globe with Gas People because he knows Gas People is gonna blow up if he stayed. They uh, they grant auras to each other. Things are going bad, sort of. No, actually, if Peak's um, Doombringer lives, they can try and manage to kill both Frostful Ice Wisp and uh, the other Frostful Ice Wisp. The thing is with SD is that you have to manage somehow not to. Um, to put your champs in positions where they can get gale forced. Boom! All right, so he kills the the Cyclops, but at the same time he gives up the lower fund, which is interesting because one would think that Kanong now has a a, a large amount of uh, reservoir Nora. Now he's moving his um, avatar uh, to the middle font. <laughs> Double hits, Frostful, Ice Wisp. Cool. Rebuke. Alright. So, um, Rebuke would have worked later on in the game. So, uh, Kanong does not deploy any champs in the, the font. Which is interesting. And blows up the Doombringer. Alright, so... It's a good game. Really? Alright guys and gals, that's it. Uh, if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up, comment below, and subscribe for more Metotastic videos and more content. Follow our Champions of Pox Nora tournament. For now, the Champion of SD is obliterated. The Champion of SP in an epic match for glory. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.